math students, uh, GED graduate, Charlene, she's in college now. She sent me this uh, example problem on understanding fractions uh, from her college class. I changed it up a little bit, Charlene. <laughs> Don't want to use the exact word problem since it's probably a, a copyrighted by them. But this is a similar problem with the same number, same idea. So let's go ahead and take a look. It says Francis has $45. She spends four-fifths of the money on new jeans. How much money does she have left? Okay, so first of all, let's start with the fact that she has $45. And what I'd like to do is a visual representation of this. If I say that she spends four-fifths of this, what I'm saying is break the $45 into five parts. Five equal parts and she's going to spend four of those parts. So let's break $45 into five equal parts. Mathematically, how could I break $45 into five equal parts? Well, I could divide it by five. That's literally what it means to break it into five equal parts. And then what would happen if I did? Well, I'd have $9 in the first group. That's one of the parts. $9 in the second group. $9 in the third group. $9 in the fourth group, and $9 in the fifth group. $45 broken into five equal parts is $9. 9, 18, 27, 36, $45. Now, it says that she spent four of them. So we could take a look at what she spent. Let's use a different color here. She spent four of those fifths. That means she spent 9, 18, 27, 36. So, but the question wasn't how much did she spend, uh, just like in your problem, the question wasn't like how much time, uh, well, I don't want to say what the original problem said, but it wasn't how much did she spend. We are looking at what was left afterwards. In this case, how much money does she have left? Well, what was left over after she spent that? Well, this last $9 she didn't spend. So what was left over? $9. Or one-fifth, one of the equal groups is uh, $9. All right, uh, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.